religious demonology. I tell you, it just seems to slap me in my face. Of course, I don't go looking for it. I just simply read Christian magazines. I found the ad that said, what makes the miracles of Jesus even more miraculous? Hmm. What does make the miracles of Jesus even more miraculous? Well, the ad says, standing where they happened. Well, at first glance, as a Christian, that sounds pretty reasonable. Especially when you look at someone reading their Bible on the Sea of Galilee. How much more special can that be? How much more miraculous can that be? As opposed to perhaps reading your Bible mm, in your bedroom, in your living room, in your car. At any rate, this ad is brought to you by none other than the Ministry of Tourism from the State of Israel. Now, the last I checked, the State of Israel did not endorse the miracles of Jesus. But that's neither here nor there. I want to find out what Jesus had to say about this question that they are asking. One day he was talking with a woman standing at a well. And by the end of their conversation, Jesus said to her, Woman, believe me, a time is coming when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. According to Jesus, the worship of the Father will have nothing to do, or rather has nothing to do with a location, has nothing to do with a place. Jesus was very clear that those who worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So to say that the miracles of Jesus would become even more miraculous by standing where they happened, is simply religious demonology. All praise to Jesus Christ, the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth.